Google Gemini just released four brand new updates that are unbelievable because they just released a massive update to the ability for you to be able to share your screen with Gemini from a computer. They released a better way for you to be able to interact with Nano Banana, and they released two other changes I'm gonna share with you by the end of this video so that you can know exactly what you can do with these new tools in order to be more productive. Now that first Google Gemini change that I wanted to walk through is now if you come to aistudio.google.com and you click on stream right here, you are going to notice that they just updated this right here. In fact, it literally just got updated yesterday. So we could see that you now have Gemini 2.5 flash native audio preview with 0925 showing that this was just updated. Now, what does this mean? You can now share your screen with Google right here. You could just talk to it right here. You could just show it your webcam if you wanted to show it something, or you could do share screen, and this can actually help you do some pretty insane stuff. For example, I am going to pull up this IRS document form right here. Now, if you've ever done anything with the IRS, you know how painful this could possibly be trying to fill something like this out, but check this out. Essentially what this does right here with this new voice feature, one, makes it way more natural, two, makes it way better at pausing and listening to you and actually determining what you need help with, but then also this increases its ability to actually do function calling and things like that. In addition to that, if you wanted to, you could add in system instructions here. For example, I'm gonna say you're a helpful agent that can help me fill out IRS form 8802 in order to help me with my business. Okay, so we're going to put this in here, put the system instructions. We could change the voice here if we wanted to. We could change the media resolution. We could turn on coverage. So this lets Gemini send audio and videos when speech is not detected. We could change the effective dialogue, which lets Gemini adapt its response style to the input expression and tone. So if you yell at it, it might yell at you or it might get kind of empathetic or sympathetic. Uh, proactive dialogue. This feature enables the model to choose to not respond to the audio that's not relevant to the ongoing conversation. Again, super useful if you're in a crowded place or if the dog's barking in the background or there's other conversations going on behind you. Assessing context, you can actually change this so that it's maximized right here. Function calling, this lets you define the functions that Gemini can call. Automatic function response, when you enable this, function calling to get automatically generated responses for your function calls. And then also grounding with Google search. Basically what that does is gives us access to Google search. I'm gonna turn this on because this could actually be incredibly helpful for what I'm gonna try to get it to do. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna click on share screen right here. I'm gonna go Chrome tab, I'm gonna go here, and here we go. Hey, can you see me? I can see you, how can I help you today? Awesome, I need some help filling out this form 8802 application for United States residency certification. Um, I was a bit confused. If I come down here to appointee information, what does this actually mean? I don't know what this means. It sounds like you're confused about the appointee information section on form 8802. This section is for if you want someone else, like an accountant or attorney, to be able to contact the IRS about your application. If you're handling everything yourself, you can leave that section blank. Does that clarify things for you? Awesome, yeah, that does. So I'm gonna handle everything myself, so I'm gonna leave that blank. Now, as you can see, that is pretty crazy. It literally knows exactly what you should be filling out on this form, and anybody that has ever dealt with an IRS form, or if you're not in the US, just know that this is an incredibly painstaking process for some reason. This right here can walk you through it, and it can walk you through anything that you want. And look at this, we also have the dialogue here, so we can always refer back to it as opposed to always having this up and online. Now, before I get into the rest of these new features and these new upgrades that Google Gemini just launched, I wanted to remind you to smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this every single day, and you're not going to want to miss them. Now, upgrade number two is going to be this new Mixboard lab right here. So if you come over to labs.google, you will be able to see all the different labs that they've recently made changes to or launched. So we have Mixboard right here, and this is essentially what you could do with it. So if we click in right here, we could see that we can open up a new project right here, and this allows you to explore your ideas. For example, it can help us plan a party, it can help us imagine new ideas, it can help us make something fun. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna click on plan a party right here. It's gonna say, help me plan a cozy theme party. I'm gonna actually do an October Halloween theme party in my living room. 
Now what this is going to do is this is going to analyze the prompt and this is going to use basically all of Google's other tools and other features in order to help you accomplish whatever you are trying to do. And this basically is like supercharging your creativity right here. Look at this. This basically just made me a customized Pinterest board based on what I'm actually trying to do. It gives me a bunch of different ideas that I can do here and guess what? If I wanna change something about any of these, I can click on these and actually change them. And if we come through here, we could see that we can actually combine multiple things by doing this here. So this basically just killed Pinterest. This made an infinitely more customizable Pinterest and it made it so that we can actually control it on our own. And we see that we can remove the background, we could duplicate this, we could download this, we could make more like this, or we could have it regenerate this. And again, we could actually grab multiple of these, see them show up down here, and then we could get this to change things, or we could just get it to generate more. We could select blocks by actually doing this. We can add text over here. And this right here is incredibly cool because you could use this for so many different use cases. Maybe you're planning out a thumbnail for a YouTube video. Maybe you're trying to create a flyer for something for school. Maybe you're trying to make a cover for something. Doesn't matter what you're trying to do. Anything related to images, even like making ads for something, this allows you to view all of them in one place, which is really awesome. Now, new feature number three is going to be learn your way right here. If we click on try now right here, this is really cool. So this allows you to reimagine a textbook for every learner. So here's how it works. Basically what you do is you click on try now right here and you could come over here and you can upload your PDF in here. Now this right currently is currently on a wait list. So if you want to test this, you can come over here and fill in this information right here, but they've actually broken this out for a bunch of different things down here already. For example, if we wanted to come over here and learn what is sociology, we can actually personalize this to see how it actually changes this. So a middle schooler who likes bicycle riding or a high schooler who likes music, and then it will actually show us this and teach it to us with those things in mind and those examples, which is really, really cool. And if we come over here, for example, economic systems, we could do a high schooler that likes movies. Now, what this is going to do is this actually goes through and this personalizes everything. And there are several different ways that you will be able to view this. You could view this as immersive text. You could see the source PDF right here. So you could see how it's actually changed. You could see the slides and narrations right here. So if we wanted to actually get slides with a narration, we could go through this and there's 28 different slides. There's an audio lesson. So this is actually transforming the way that people are going to learn. And there's also a mind map right here. And again, this is all going to be broken out under the guise and under the context of somebody that likes movies or that is interested in that and is in grade 12. Now, again, if we come over to the source PDF, we could see what this looks like right here, but then we could see how this is actually changed for somebody that's interested in different things, which is pretty unique, pretty cool, something I'm really excited about. But again, a lot of this right here is on a waitlist right here. So if you want to learn how to do this for yourself and not just try it with all the different things that they have open right here, you can come over here and join this waitlist, what I would strongly suggest you to do if you're in school yourself, you work in academia, or you have kids or something along the lines of that, and you want to actually allow them to transform the way that they're learning by turning their materials into dynamic and an engaging learning experience tailored for them, I would check this out because this is pretty awesome. And then that last new update that I wanted to talk about is going to be stitch.withgoogle.com. This allows you to design at the speed of light and they have completely changed this, which is really awesome. So let's say that we're coming over here and we're saying, I am creating a an app that allows people to put a TikTok link in it and then they'll get the transcript for that and we can actually come over here and generate designs. Now, if we wanted to, we could attach a sketch, a mock-up, or some type of visual inspiration, but I wanna see what this actually comes up with. So I'm gonna click on generate designs right here. Now, this is going to go through, and this is going to cook, which is absolutely crazy. This is going to come over here, and it's going to design an app that provides transcripts for all these different things, and it says, shall we proceed? I'm gonna say, great, design all of these different slides. The whole time, we could chat with this if we wanted to 
change anything, but what we could see right here is that this is now literally going through and this is going to design what my app should look like. Now, what I'm gonna be able to do with this is I'm going to be able to take this over here and then I'm gonna be able to insert that into wherever I'm building my app. Maybe I'm using Lovable. Maybe I'm using Replit Agent 3, which is absolutely amazing. And if you wanna see me actually create a video about that, let me know in the comments below. But this goes through and actually designs out exactly how it looks. And guess what we could do once this is actually created over here? If we come over here, we could add this design to the chat and get it to change things about it. We can adjust the theme over here or adjust anything about it. For example, go from light to dark, stuff like that. We could zoom in on this so that this is gonna be bigger. We could see the code right here we could get a figma design from this or if we wanted to we can create different variants we could download this we could delete this we could give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down or if we really wanted to we could see what this looks like on mobile versus what it's going to look like on a computer right here incredibly quickly and again this is going to make your life way easier if you're trying to design an app you're trying to design a website you're trying to design anything because this goes through and can design it for you and then can iterate on it for you and as we can see right here you'll be able to then see your history you'll be able to see examples of how other people are doing this and they have some pretty cool prompts right here to get started with in addition to that they have standard mode which allows you to design faster with gemini 2.5 flash and they have experimental mode which allows you to get higher fidelity designs with gemini 2.5 pro not sure if you've seen the reports yet but goldman sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months ai is going to replace over 300 million jobs so my question for you is are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI and that's exactly why I created AI automation school that you could check out at the pinned comment below in fact I have a special launch pricing right now so if you want to stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI how to make more money with AI how to build AI agents without knowing having to code or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through seven AI automations that every beginner should have set up. I'll see you over there.